multiplication of a polynomial by another polynomial. Panoorin ang video nito at ituturo ko sa iyo. Okay, so this is our topic. Uh, multiplication of a polynomial by another polynomial. Pasensya na kayo sa boses ko, ha? Uh, in multiplying a polynomial by another polynomial, each term in the multiplier is multiplied by each term in the multi multiplicat. Then the products are added and similar terms are combined. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, I will give you an example letter A. So, 4x minus 5. Multiply natin sa 3x plus 6. So, rule natin dito, the, uh, each term in the multiplier is multiplied by each terms in the multiplicat. Ibig sabihin, itong si 3x, i-multiply natin each term ng 4x at saka si negative 5. So, 3x, i-multiply natin kay 4x minus 5. Then, si x, I-multiply natin kay 4x minus 5. Okay? So, yun yan ang ibig sabihin ng each terms in the uh, each term in the multiplier is multiplied by each terms in the multiplicand. So, i-multiply na natin using distributive property. Ito muna si 3x. 3x times 4x is equal to 12x squared. Okay? 3 times 4 is 12. x times x is x squared. Then, 3x times negative 5, that is negative 15x. Ayan. Ngayon, si x na naman, i-multiply naman natin ito. Si x, multiply natin kay 4x. Uh, 6 plus 6. Ang samang ko, x naman noon. Kinim. Eh, hey, ito talaga si x. Si 6, i-multiply natin kay 4x. So, magiging 24x. Dapat, since yung similar terms are combined, ibig sabihin, i-arrange natin yan. So, dito yung 24. Positive 24. Positive 24x. Kasi 6 times 4 is 24. Kopyahin natin yung variable niya na x. Okay? Then, 6 times negative 5, that is negative 30. Then, tsaka na natin sila i-add. Okay? So, walang kaparis si 12x squared. So, ibig sabihin, kopyahin na natin yan si 12x squared. Kita pa ba? Ayan. And then, dito si 15, negative 15x plus 24x we have to copy the sign of the bigger number. Ibig sabihin, positive yung sign natin dyan. And then, i-minus natin si 15 sa kay 24. So, 24 minus 15, that is 9. Kopyahin natin yung x. Then, kopyahin natin si 30. So, this is your final answer sa ating example letter A. Okay, dito na tayo sa example letter B. Uh, 7x squared plus 9x minus 12 Multiply natin sa 2x minus 5 Ibig sabihin si 2x Multiply natin sa Each term ng 7x squared Plus 9x minus 12 Okay? So, then si negative 5 Multiply din natin Kay uh, 7x squared Plus 9x minus 12. Okay. So, ngayon, uh, sisahin natin si 2x times 7x squared. So, magiging 14x cubed. Nakuha nyo? Bakit siya nagiging 14x cubed? Okay. 2 times 7 is 14. Tapos, x times x, x cubed. Kasi merong 1 yung exponent ni x. Okay. Next, Si 2x naman, i-multiply natin dito kay 9x. So, magiging 18x squared. Positive. Positive 
18x squared short data yung space ko da then si 2x multiply naman natin dito kay negative 12 magiging negative 24x okay sakto pa yan so dito naman sa kabila si negative 5 i-multiply natin dito kay yan, 7x squared so magiging negative 35x squared so dito natin ilagay si negative 35x squared bakit sa dito kailangan ilagay kasi kailangan natin tong i-add mamaya or i-combine hindi pwedeng i-combine natin si x squared at saka si x cubed okay then negative 5 times 9x is negative 45x negative siya kasi nag-multiply tayo ng unlike sign so dito naman sa kapsa negative 5 at saka negative 12 positive na naman yung result okay baka nakalimutan nyo na kapag mag-multiply tayo ng uh, unlike sign the result is negative kahit balik tayo natin yan negative ang result yan kapag does the same sign ang result niya is positive okay basta the same sign Ayan. So, dito sa negative 5 and negative 12, positive ang result niya. Then, i-multiply natin yan. That is 60. Okay? Negative, tsaka negative 5. Okay? 10, 5, 6. So, 60. So, positive 60. Tsaka na natin sila i-combine. Okay, may space pa. So, since walang kasama dito si 14x cubed, kopyahin natin yan si 14 x cube. Then, dito naman, saan, tingnan natin kung saan yung number na mas malaki. So, si negative 35 ang mas malaki, di ba? So, negative yung sign natin dyan. Then, isubtract na lang natin yan. 35 minus 18. Okay, 7. Magiging 2 yan. So, 17. So, 17, negative 17 x squared. Kopyahin natin yung variable. At saka yung exponent niya. So, since the same sila, negative, iba namang rule dito, basta addition, kopyahin yung common sign, and then add natin yung dalawa. Si 24 at saka si 45, so 9, 6, or negative 69, kopyahin natin si variable na x. Okay? Then, kopyahin natin si positive 60. Ito na yung final answer natin sa ating example letter B. Nakuha? Ay na. Okay, letter C. Letter C na tayo. 4x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Multiply natin kay 3x plus y. Okay? So, isahin natin yan. Si 3x, multiply natin dito sa 4x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Okay? I-risk ko lang muna ito, ha? Para hindi tayo maano nyo. Next, si y na naman. Si positive y. Multiply natin yan dito sa each term ng uh, multiplikan. 4x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Okay, so, isahin natin yan. Uh, I-distribute natin yan isa-isa. Okay, 3x times 4x squared, that is 12x cubed. 12x cubed. Bakit sa x cubed? Again, merong 1 yung exponent ni x and then dito naman sa kabila si 3x times negative 2y so that is negative 6x squared merong exponent na 1 merong exponent na 1 so squared sya meron pang isang y okay basta multiplication pwede natin sa i-multiply then 3x times y squared that is positive 3x y squared. Okay, nasundan. So, dito naman tayo sa pangalawa. So, distribute natin yan. Si y times 4x squared, that is positive 4x squared y. So, dapat i-arrange natin siya sa kanyang similar term. Okay? So, similar term yan sila. Hindi natin pwede ilagay dito si x squared kasi x cubed yung nasa taas. Okay, nasundan. Then, dito naman sa y times negative 2xy, that is negative 2xy squared. 
Okay? Gusundan? Walang kasama sa x, that's why x lang. Tapos merong exponent sa y dito, meron na exponent sa y dyan. So that's why nagiging y squared. Next, y times y squared, that is positive y cubed. Okay, i-add na natin yan or i-combine. Since walang kasama si 12x cubed, kopyahin natin si 12x cubed. Kita pa ba? Kita pa. Then, negative 6x squared y plus 4x squared y, that is negative 2x squared y. Negative siya kasi mas malaki si 6. Kopyahin natin yung sign ni 6. So, that's why nagiging negative. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. Kilupya natin yung variables at saka exponent. Dito, positive yung sign natin. 1, di ba? Pero hindi na kailangan isulat si 1. So, isulat na lang natin dito, x at saka si y squared. At uh, dito sa last term, kopyahin na lang natin si y cubed. So, ito na yung final answer sa ating example letter C. Okay, dito na tayo sa letter D or maybe this is the last example. So, try natin solve ito by uh, uh, horizontally. Okay? Kanina, vertical yun. Ngayon, solve natin siya horizontally. So, same pa rin. Si 4x, i-multiply natin dito by 5x minus 7. At saka si 3x, at si 3, multiply natin kay 5x minus 7. Okay? So, paano yan? Si 4x times 5x, that is 20. Ito ko na lang dito ha, pa horizontal ha. 20x squared. Then, dito si, you know, 4x magiging negative 28x. Okay? Plus, si 3 times 5x magiging 15x. Tapos, si 3 times negative 7, that is negative 21. <coughs> Ngayon, ang tawag dito nung sasunod, combining like terms. Ibig sabihin, i-combine natin yung like terms or i-combine yung similar terms. Okay? So, si 20x squared, tsaka si, walang kasama si negative, ah, si 20x squared, kaya kinopya na lang natin yan. So, itong negative 20x at saka itong positive 15x, ito yung like terms. Ito yung similar terms. So, sila ang pwede nating i-combine. So, 12, at negative 28x plus 15x. So, kopihan natin yung sign ng malak mas malaking number that is negative because 28 is bigger than 15. Then, i-minus natin yan. Okay? So, 3, 13x. Okay. So, negative 13x. Kopihan natin si negative 21. So, ito yung final answer natin sa ating example. Letter B. Pwede mo yung gamitin kanina yung uh, vertical. Pwede rin dito sa horizontal. Okay? At maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, mag-subscribe ka na. At i-hit mo yung notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na i-upload ko. See you! to my next video. Bye-bye.